afternoon. This is the KTLA News at 1. I'm Leela Feinstein. And I'm Glenn Walker. 20 people, including one child, are detained after they tried to enter the U.S. in a small fishing boat. KTLA Sarah Welch is... The suspect who police say shot and killed seven people in France to avenge the deaths of Palestinian children was locked in a standoff today with police. Elizabeth Corden has the latest from France. Mega Millions mania is taking hold of the Southland because this Friday's jackpot is already one of the biggest ever. At a cool 290, we all like to dream big and think about what it would be like if we won. USC mathematician one time told me, he said, look, just buy one quick pick because mm -hmm. you don't really increase your odds by buying 100 tickets. <laughs> all right, well, very, very good advice, and I did buy my one, so I've, I've done my part. Good job. Good <laughs> all luck. right. Already? Wow. Oh, yeah, there was nice. an office pool. Sorry, I don't know if oh, you didn't get whoa. in it. Oh, 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 sorry, guys. You left early yesterday because you've been working so hard. Sorry, Jim, I don't know. That's okay. I... All right, thank you very much. Coming up, local Muslims say that they are facing discrimination from a city council. Elizabeth Espinosa is live with a preview. In Lomita, over an Islamic group's plan to expand its mosque. The city denied the group's land use application. Now, KTLA's Elizabeth Espinosa is in Lomita for that live report. Protesters demanding justice in the shooting of an unarmed Florida teen will march today in New York. Meanwhile, calls are growing for the man who allegedly shot him to be arrested. Greg Black has, has the latest on the controversy. Zimmerman's family denies race played a role. A grand jury will convene on April 10th to look into the case, which some say should be investigated as a hate crime. But coming up, an Ohio homeowner gets a nasty surprise crashing through the backyard. We will show you. Imagine that. Boy, happening. walk out the front door, see that coming at you? Ooh, that is mm, scary. Yeah. So fortunate they were not in the front of the house when that all Boy, happened. That's for sure. Hey, the weather, what's the second day of spring now? Oh, it is glorious nice. out there. Real Absolutely nice. beautiful. Nice and clear, just like the skies. We like that very much. Yes, we do. It's a good combination. More of your top stories are coming up next. Chris Wolf will join us live with the details on the tragic death of a 16 year old girl in Southgate. This happened in Southgate on Tuesday night. The girl was just a teenager. Her killer, still at large. KTL can check out LATimes.com slash business. I don't know. For some reason, I'm having a craving for a candy bar all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. Sugar. Coming up, dentists are blaming a common drink for tooth decay. Time for some health news now. If you suffer from sinus infections, don't treat them with antibiotics. It's a wild Wednesday, and today Allie McKay is in the Angeles National Forest. Yeah, and today she's hanging out with some furry friends from all over the world. Wild animals. Wild animals, yes. I, I was just telling everyone here how I was dreaming a lot about lions last night. And then look at there that. So ironic. Yeah. She's doing her live shot in front of that lion just uh you should start developing that sense forth. maybe you could make a <laughs> fortune doing that all right i'll share it with you glenn okay, okay. still to come a delicious sauce you can make for tonight's dinner we will all right thanks jim well how many bridesmaids would you need to help with this particular wedding Sweet dress well, Cher, this street here at Latuna Canyon Boulevard in Sunland still blocked off because the investigation is ongoing right now. I'm as for the gunshot victim at the tobacco store. He's in the hospital right now in stable condition. As for the woman who was carjacked, police say she was shaken up, but she was not physically injured in any way. Reporting live in Sunland, I'm Leela Feinstein, KTLA 5 News. Leela, thank you. Attempt